Hello, I'm Bob Pellerin, CTO Bob. Today I'll be reviewing a Dell PowerEdge R740. This is a much larger machine than what I've reviewed in the past. As you may remember or want to check it out, we've looked at an R640. Uh, link is up there. And this is a 2U, meaning that it is a larger server. And of course, having a larger server gives you extra room. So not only do you get extra room in the back for extra cards, for example, but if you look at the front, if I take the uh, LED, or rather LCD cover off, you'll notice that this particular unit has space for 16 drives. In this case, this particular unit has been ordered with two and a half inch drive uh, bays. You can also get the three and a half, which would allow you to put the older type of drives, bigger storage, less costs. These would be ideal for SSDs. Now, the SSDs come generally up to about 3.8 terabytes per drive, so that gives you a lot of expansion. And in the back, let's spin this around. So, first thing you'll notice is you've got very large power supplies. So these are 1,100 watt each. So you've got redundancy here. And of course, like all the rest of these products in the Dell series, you can simply pull it out and put it back in. Now you could get this in 750s, and depending on what you have inside the machine, that's how you decide what kind of power you require. The rest, you'll notice we've got a lot of network ports. In this particular case, we have a Quad Intel, their X550, so that these are 10G ports. And the port here completely on the left, this is for the iDRAC. In this case, the iDRAC 9 allows you to manage this unit, even if it's powered off. I mean, it still needs to be connected, but you'll be able to get into the iDRAC module, which allows you to go in and modify hardware, uh, update things like firmware and so forth remotely. So this is ideal if you've got a rack environment that's in a hosted environment. And of course you've got the VGA and you've got a couple of USB 3.0 slots in the back. Now let me finish with the front before we open it. So on the front really we've got the power button which is very small and this is on purpose and we've got actually still our brand new system so we have all the plastic still there. Let me get rid of this. So what we have here are the USB. We've got, in case you need to plug a monitor, if you're in a host environment, again, you can just wheel a little uh, screen to it and connect here. So the power button is actually here, very, very small. And we have a, um, a smaller USB connector there that is actually connected back to the iDRAC. Uh, if you don't know, the serial number or what they call the service tag number is actually here. You simply pull on this and it's written in there. So I'm not going to pull it out. But. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the inside of the server. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe. If you like this particular video, give us a thumbs up. It really helps us. Let's go ahead and open this. Again, it's very simple. If you just purchase this, you're going to have to take a screwdriver and unlock it. So let me go ahead and simply open it up. Again, very simple to do. And most of the innards is protected by a large piece of plastic, namely this one here. So before I go there, let me just show you around a little bit. So first thing you'll notice is the, well, these are the power supplies underneath here. So there's lots of extra space. Um, what you've got is the, the H740. This is the perk controller and this controls back to the drives to the bays in the front. The other interesting part is you've got in this case we've configured it so we've got a riser card which allows us to put in three uh, additional cards in the back. We can take this off and that allows us to see our CPUs. So in this case these microprocessors are Intel these are platinum 8180s and they're 28 cores each at 2.5 gigahertz. If you're looking for something with a lot of memory, so you've got 24 slots here which will accommodate a whopping 24 of these memory modules. And 
And the other interesting part is, as you'll notice, the fans are much larger than the ones that we've reviewed before because they were 1U and this is a 2U. So, and again, they're very modular. So if one fails or you need to clean them and so forth, you basically just snap it back into place and that's all there is to it. Now, one of the questions that I got quite a lot when I reviewed past servers is, how do I install them? Where do I put the, the VMware? Because I do a lot of VMware, for example. Uh, there is, if you'll pay attention right here, inside there is a USB connector in here. And that, so you can take a USB key, such as this one here. I usually use uh, the metal Kingstons. I find they work quite well. Uh, I'm not being paid by the company. I'm just saying what I'm using. And um, I put them in. And so you could load it onto there. Now, if you're going to use this in a production environment, which I'm sure a lot of you are, so what you may want to consider instead is going with something like this. And if you'll, let me get closer to the camera here. So this is what they call an IDSDM. It stands for Internal Dual SD Module. And as the name suggests, you literally end up with two SD cards in here. So you're doing the equivalent of a mirror on two SD cards. And that would be what you installed the VMware ESXi on. So by doing it this way, if one of the card fails, the other one is still available. So the system doesn't stop. You have to understand that when you boot off a server, it's going to read the ESXi, put it into memory, and then there's very little use to read back on these once it's turned on. So most firms will turn these on and hopefully not have to turn them off for months and months and if not years. I mean, I've seen some companies that haven't turned them off in years. So, so that's uh, roughly what it looks like on the inside. So the R740 is great for medium sized to larger sized businesses and this will be able to run easily things like SQL and be lots of virtual machines on VMware. So I'm Bob Pellerin, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.